Live fast, died young, and now they're auctioning his dream. This was how H.B. Toby Hallecky made a fortune, crashing cars. As the man behind two cult classics, Gone in 60 Seconds and the Junk Man, Hallecky parlayed a love for cars and car crashes into a $4 million empire. Okay, John, camera's ready. But when a freak accident took his life during the filming of a sequel to Gone in 60 Seconds back in 1989, he left behind a lot more than just a couple of B-movies. Here inside a vast warehouse just south of Los Angeles is perhaps one of the most amazing collections of stuff that a single individual has ever amassed. 25,000 square feet of boyhood dreams that total over 100,000 items. Toy cars, over 50,000 of them. Toy trains, 10,000 pieces. Hundreds of old license plates, airplane models, police memorabilia. It just goes on and on and on. But soon it will all be gone, sold piece by piece to the highest bidder at an auction being held to settle Hallecky's estate. Tim McGrain represents the auction house. This is a significant event in the sense that it's very unusual. Uh, this collection is considered one of the largest private collections of its type, considering its diversity. From endless rooms of vintage toy cars to garages full of the real thing, from stacks and stacks of big little books to mass quantities of old oil cans, the enormity of it all blurs the mind. Hallecky's widow, Denise, says for her husband, it was like having the world's largest toy chest. When he was a child, he shared toys with 13 brothers and sisters. So one of his dreams and passions was that when he could afford to, he would buy every toy he ever wanted. And obviously, he wanted a lot of toys. There's an old saying that goes, he who dies with the most toys wins. And if there's anything to that, then Toby Hallecky certainly went out a winner. The auction will be conducted next weekend in Pasadena, California. H.B. Hallecky's dreams are expected to return several million dollars.